S2J, Shroom, S2J Shroomed, and Mega Man Chango. Mega Man Chango actually a little bit of a surprise here. I watched a really close set with, uh, yeah, over Josh Man, mm -hmm. Josh Man's team, 3 2 wow. with Chango. Um, Chango messed me up real bad, so I'm excited to see uh, how they do in this top four. But we got some weird matchups coming up first. Let's talk about uh, Ecstatic up against Team uh, New York. I don't know, what's their team name? JBDW? Well, when uh, Cody was uh, IBDW, it was the, that? the team name could have possibly been We Be Doing Work. Wow. That should come coined by Webs. I think uh, We I Be think Doing Work, I think, was back. a, yeah, that, that was a great, great uh, team name that Webs came up with. But we got game one here. And these are definitely the top two seeded teams of this tournament. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, Cody and Jay Luke kind of been going on a little bit of a tear. Good mm -hmm. first stock right there as well. Amsa off the top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Jay Luke, Cody, one collision, beating Amsa and Axe 3 2 there as well. No mm -hmm. sets lost. And Amsa Axe got first at Dreamhack San Diego, second at Collision, second at Major Upset, losing to Club H Box. So definitely going to be a really tight battle here. Oh, yeah. I for imagine sure. it's going to go down to the wire. Red team just dead completely now. Let's just see. Have them come back. Axe hanging on to his first stock right now, which is pretty, pretty solid. Yeah, I think that's going to be one of the strengths of blue team is that they can really stock yes, tank. You know, absolutely. I think we saw that a lot in the Shroomed versus s 2 set that they had, where it just felt like Yoshi and Pikachu were living to a very, very high percent, especially Yoshi, right? right? exactly. It takes so, so long to kill them. Moms are going to go off the top right there. Axe looking for the quick pickup, though, not quite going to get there in time. Mm -hmm. But I like the attempt, especially when you know you have your teammate there and Pikachu has such great recovery off stage. For sure, for sure. So going for it. The risk to reward is kind of in your favor sometimes. We'll have to see how Red Team takes advantage of these potential 2v1 situations because it takes Amsa so long to recover if he gets knocked away like that. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. they've been finding a lot of kills off the top, which has been quite good so far. Jamek's going to go out right there. Yeah, really good KO confirmed there from X with the uh, awareness to go for the, the, the up smash there on the platform. Really nice percent awareness. Amsa, nice pick up there off of uh, Axe presenting the knockdown, but Jmook's there now to pick up the pieces. Nice stuff. Yeah, kind of stopping Amsa from potentially edge guarding Cody Schwab there. I have the. I, I feel like I want to say Cody, but I have to say Cody Schwab now. <laughs> the full name? <laughs> that makes it so full. much harder, man. I don't know. The Schwab is cool. He's Schwabbing it up. J Schwab. J Schwab. Is that the Ooh, name? J Schwab has got a nice ring to it. Schwab. Oh. That's less, a <laughs> little, little bit less, a little bit less of a ring to it. Uh, by the end of this set, we'll have a name for them, right? Definitely. I'm sure Chat will help us out at some point. Definitely. So. Okay, um, so picks up ledge right there. Axe not there to pick up the easy kill on mm -hmm. Jmook there, though. Yeah, it goes right to ledge. I mean... <laughs> oh nice. my god. Almost... Ah, they couldn't quite pick up the pieces there to do the KO on the two red players there on the right yeah. side, unfortunately. I mean, Blue Team did have, like, all of the necessary components there to make that work, though. So I, I like the vision a lot. Mm -hmm. Super late in air there. Amazing tech from Cody. Just barely hanging on there. Oh, great use of the double jump armor there for Yoshi to get back on the stage. <gasps> Mixed signals there, Axe and Amsa. No one wants to know who to go for uh, the follow-up after that up throw. So Cody is still hanging on, but not for too long. Yeah, not getting like the right hitbox of the up smash there. Would have actually KO'd Amsa, and it would have been a one-stock situation here for all the players. Man, Amsa's doing such a good job holding oh, onto yeah. the sock, and that's what I've seen Amsa do across the board just in all teams tournaments. It just feels like you cannot KO this guy. Yeah, and I, I mean, like, it's the same thing as Yoshi's in singles, right? Oh, it's got to be it. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more. Off the top, still? Just gave it to him? Yeah. Not bad? Like, how long did Amso hold on to that, that stock? Well, it felt like Amso was at, like, 120 for a long time. It's a hot minute, a mm -hmm. hot minute. But, it, yeah, it's tough because even in singles, right, like, so many situations you just want to like kind of break armor, go for follow-up hit mm -hmm. to get the kill. Mm -hmm. But now there's just a second character there mm -hmm. that's just in the way to mix up all of this action. Definitely, and especially with how fast Axe is off of like the up Bs and whatnot, you yeah. know, it just feels like it could be anywhere on the stage at any given point. But that being said. Yeah, very survivable team, Axe and Amsa. Axe held on to a lot of stocks during that first game as well. Mm -hmm. But Fox Sheik is notorious for finding really, really quick kills. We know a pretty famous team from back in the day that was quite good at doing that too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think this is the first game that Cody Schwab and Jmook have lost this tournament. Really? Yeah. So kind of kind of pretty big so far. So it looked very dominant for Jmook Cody yeah. going into this grand fi or, uh, winner's finals here. Okay, splitting off into a couple 1v1s, changing dance partners now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And it can be difficult, I feel like, for if, if they're split up in that kind of fashion, yeah. it could be a little bit difficult for Yoshi to kind of get there with like the horizontal movement in particular, for right? Sure, for sure. Because there's no platforms there to like really traverse to get to the other side. So it can be a little difficult if they uh, split up like that. A little but. bit overzealous there on the up smash, but still trade stocks nonetheless. Not bad. Yeah. Man, looking really good for the blue team. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I honestly don't even think this is that bad of a counter pick for Axe and Amsa to be playing on, too. Mm -hmm. Like, we saw Amsa just go absolutely apeshit on Cody for like 80% on that first stock. Because mm -hmm. as long as he has the room and can get a couple jab resets in, it's just like what like the teammate has to come in at this point to try to break up some action. Dude, it's actually kind of crazy, right? Like how fast Yoshi yeah. racks on the damage, right? So if you give Amsa like three seconds, all of a sudden it's like, oh, Cody's near death percent now. And we're giving them a lot of stocks right here. Yeah. Seven to three. This is this is Red Team's counter pick. Oh my goodness. And as, aside from the damage rack up too, I think another really potent thing that Blue Team takes advantage of here is they live for a really long time, like we talked about, but they're so, so good on edge guards, and they just know when to kind of like pass off responsibility of who's gonna like finish off the kill, who gets an edge guard specifically against J Move too. That's a really good point, because I think they have the understanding that, you know, Yoshi has like the hard hits off on stage with like the down yeah. smash and whatnot, and then Pikachu goes off stage with like the up airs. And it's like a really good combination. Get some like nice low-ish percent KOs yeah, on I both of them. I think a lot of onus, especially if uh, Red Team's going to go down 2-0 here at this point, is going to be on how does Cody break up kind of the 2v1 edge guard situation moving forward, especially on FD, right? Because there's no platforms for J-Move to run away to. So Axe just sits there and goes for an up smash every single time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of going to be on the, the Fox a little bit because of the, the speed and maneuverability Fox has here, but oh wow, really oh good edge guarding off the top and getting the edge grab? That was a six stock wall. They're locked in. Locked in. Maybe not. Axe yeah. always having fun. Definitely. 2-0. Whoa. All serious here. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> 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 what possible advice could be happening right now here? I think my favorite, th I, I remember there was one tournament, I can't remember what it was, where they mic'd up doubles players, mm -hmm. and I think it was uh, Dewan and Zach. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> Zach was like talking game plan, and he was like, yeah, here's the thing we have to do. And Dewan's like, we just have to run at them as <laughs> much as we can. And Zach was like, no, no, we're not supposed to do that at all. <laughs> Differing mindsets there I see going into the set. That's a little bit of uh, crossed wires. I really like the idea of having mic'd up players. I think it's so sick. It's so good. The times that it's happened, I think, have been really, really entertaining. I think it happened at one of the Battle of BCs, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that'd be cool to do. Again, dear, I know you're listening. Definitely got to let the players know, <laughs> because <laughs> they might, <laughs> they're not going to be uh, censoring themselves. Ooh. Wow, okay. that Nair hit both of them, just because of the nice fast fall after it. Wow, Amsa still almost set off the uh, alley-oop there with the egg toss. Still mm -hmm. finds a kill on Jmook again. Yeah, and this is like the huge punish character for Axe and Amsa to take advantage of, right? Because as soon as either of these characters can push Sheik off stage, it's just super bad time unless Cody can interject a little bit in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, makes it back on the stage there. Fox recovery, a little a little strong. It looked like it's just a little bit too far away, but it'll get you. Ooh, platform cancel again. Great coverage there from Cody to not allow Axe to get the edge guard on J Mook there on the right side. <gasps> oh no! Needles! The ah! needle! You're hitting! It's a blessing and a curse! Oh my god. That is nice little um, <laughs> help mate, helping from the, the opposing team there. That's crazy. Both the needles hit his yeah. teammate. That's <laughs> yeah. crazy. One that kills, one that saves, but red team going up two stocks now. J Mook had a pretty precarious percent though right now. The kidnapper from Axe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good awareness there from Amsa to not continue comboing Axe there. One more. Yep. That is actually so crazy that they threaded the needle to get the yeah. edge guard there, yeah. right? Because they were in such close proximity to each other, all four players, and somehow Axe gets the two KOs there. That was beautiful. Didn't even really hit Amsa as well. The same as J as Jmook and Cody, but it really is like the homie difference mm -hmm. where you're so in sync with someone that you can just do close quarters combat like that and it's mm -hmm. just fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's not easy to do. No not kill easy. yet. You know, she's heavy boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cody uh, target switching right now. Ooh, great roll from Axe to avoid the grab from Cody. Cody playing really nicely, um, reflecting all the eggs and then <laughs> yeah. going for the two-on-one situation on Axe there. I think is a really nice strategy. Keeping out Amsa and then trying to go for Axe. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Blue playing on the back foot right now, but this could swing in just a minute. Double, double, toil and trouble. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thunder not going to be able to KO off the top there. No up smash from Axe. Oh, Amsa finally goes down. Slow get up to over 100% means no kill on Axe just yet. Yeah, that's a tough KO to get, especially at the, the low, low percent. You kind of have to get, like, Shine, basically. <gasps> Multiple times, but okay. Somehow Fox is still living. Yeah. Finally getting KO'd. Right here. Oh, what? Okay, Axe dipped super low to get that yeah. up air, and somehow J-Mook still lives. I, I'm not really sure if I saw a tech there, but okay. I'm still losing it at, at Axe doing down smash and then Amsha just knowing where to go for up air. Jabri said up air. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. was just so gross, and it's very close. Doable for Axe. It's tough. Oh, great recovery there. That was really hard to kind of predict that Axe was just going to be on that right. like, the, the left side of the stage there. But, yeah, that's a hard two-on-one comeback to get. Mr. Schwab, J. Schwab, staying alive right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Advice is paying off. Lots of yelling. Finally on the board. <laughs> Lots of yelling. <laughs> Axe and Ops are just like, I love you, man. Oh. <laughs> like, You're so good at melee. <laughs> How are you doing this, Yoshi? Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing this with Pikachu? <laughs> Whoa. Melee's so cool. Melee's so cool. <laughs> Okay, counter picks come through. I honestly don't think FD was that bad, too. I, I know it's so. off the table for the rest of the set uh, for for blue team to counter pick to, but it looked really, really solid, especially from the perspective of like Axe is on kill J Mook duty whenever they get off stage, mm -hmm. and there's nowhere else for him to run at that point. So I wouldn't be surprised to see something like bigger, maybe like a Dreamland or something like that, force mm -hmm. a little bit more interaction off stage but we'll see where they go in a minute. It is kind of interesting, right? I feel like if we're thinking about which team can get the low percent KOs, it's definitely more so Yoshi Pikachu yeah. as opposed to Fox Sheep, right? So actually it? completely uh, turning things around with a small stage here. Mm -hmm. Don't mind this either, though, because again, you mentioned earlier just how survivable blue team both members can be. Right, and it'll, it'll like, at least eliminate a little bit of that, right? Also Ooh. opens up the close quarters right now for just some crazy chaos to go down. Yeah, and Axe also can't do the like as crazy deep offstage plays that he yeah. does on the other stages uh, on a stage like Yoshi, right? So it kind of mitigates that as well a little bit. Blue team left side right oh now. Oh my god, that up Cody just... was looking for Amsa for sure, right? But I... just happened to find Axe? The nice I don't part? Know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because Amsa's egg was right there. Yeah. And I mean, he was trying to either like punish the shield drop and then the. the the Pikachu upper just came there. No, I completely agree. I with mean, you. he's just different, though. It's possible he just knew both were going to be there. Yeah, In Pikachu upper. Sorry. Cody knows. Cody knows. The Schwab effect. <laughs> <laughs> Axe trying to pick up back throw on Jmook right there. Do you think we can make enough Cody Schwab type jokes that he we goes back to, right? to IBDW? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We make so many Schwab jokes. He's like, you know, what, guys. After being bullied. For <laughs> six months at every tournament <laughs> I've gone to. I've decided. I am now changing back to IBDW. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Schwab mode? No. Ooh. Oh, okay. No confirm there. Nice down smash. This is what I mean, yeah. though. Like, how do they know <laughs> what's yeah. going to happen off of that? Amsa is definitely looking out because, I mean, the down smash does take a little bit of time. Yeah. So Amsa has a little bit of time to, like, arrange right. himself. But you're totally right that it's very impressive. I think both, Amsa's of course, right like, such high APM players, too. To just mm -hmm. be like, yeah, I'm just going to start throwing my buttons your way and, uh, you know, we'll make it work. We'll it's see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Ooh. Got to yep. watch out for shielding Yoshi. You know those shield drop up airs are going to be coming out. Mm -hmm. Shielding Yoshi on platform. All that being said, red team's hanging on to a small, small lead at the moment. Mm -hmm. Off right side, so much action right here. Okay, Ooh. Illusion almost saves j -Mook, but not quite. Yeah, I like the idea. It was like the quickest thing he could have done to get get blue team off the ledge. Big uh, Nair, mm -hmm. enough to kill on this stage as well. So Now a slight lead for blue, but if they get the, the KO on Pikachu here, but see what I mean? Yeah, like those offstage plays are just a little yeah. different so on Yoshi. So much harder for him to kind of fully commit to as well. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you dip so low as Pikachu when you go offstage like that. Tournament winner from Axe isn't going to get too punished. High percent from Axe, though, is real dicey. Yeah, that up air also not KOing was pretty crazy. Good awareness there for Axe. He saw Axe saw that Jamie was on ledge and then yeah. decided to go to the, the right side platform. Oh. That was insane coverage from Red Team, and just like that, it's another swing. 
Can they get the KO on j -Mook right now? But instead gets the KO on Cody! <sighs> wow. This coverage wow, has wow, just wow. been so, so good. And even into this counter pick, right? j -Mook can recover on side platform there with a the straight up poop. Axe is just ready to cover all of it. Mm -hmm. Yo, this is potentially the set right now with this two-on-one. Winner side. Okay. Cody picking his positions really well. Great get-up attack there as well. Ooh. If anyone can do it, though, it's Cody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely seen Cody make a couple of two-on-one comebacks. But this is pretty difficult because we talked about how potent the punish game yeah. is on both of them. Off stage now. <gasps> Missing the tech as well. Wow. Oh, and that's it. 3-1. X Omstar are going to grand final. That was super impressive, man. I Definitely. mean, like, that the ending got a little bit dicey. Omsa was without a jump. X tried to go for the save, so it mm -hmm. could have potentially been a one on one. Mm -hmm. But they close it out before we even get a chance to talk about it. I mean, this is cool. Yeah. I love Pikachu Yoshi in grand finals. Axe, formerly a Battle of BC 3 winner, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, as well. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit of an upset because I think Cody and J Mook have beaten Axe Omsa. Mm -hmm. At least in recent recent history, right? We talked about the Collision 2023 um, win. Right, right. J Mook taking that. J Mook, um, Cody taking that. It is interesting, though, now because we get Pikachu, Yoshi, and Grand Finals. That leaves us with loser side J Mook, Cody, and then the mm -hmm. winner of uh, what I assume is our next set of top four Mega Man Chango versus S2J Shroom. Korean fried chicken. Team Korean fried chicken. Yeah. I miss the days of team names. It used to be a thing oh. that everyone did, right? Like, everyone have, came up with, did like, Did you have a, a static partner? I teamed with Tofa a decent amount, but I wouldn't say that I had, like, a static static partner, unfortunately. When I lived in South Carolina, I teamed with a Sheik. Mm. Uh, tag was Pikmin. Shout out to Pikmin. I hey. know you're still out there. Hey. Your team two scoops. Hmm. Let's check out some replays. Sweet. Yeah, let's yeah. check out some replays here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, no, I mean, Blue Team was just very, very solid, I think, in terms of just playing the scramble really well. And then whenever they got out of the scramble, Axe and Amsa knew their roles immediately when one of them was off stage. Mm -hmm. Right? So look at this right here. Axe picks it up. Amsa does not even mess with it whatsoever because Axe just has the kill, guaranteed. Man, really, really crazy. I mean, just thinking of like the the recent results, I really was not expecting this. Mm -hmm. And with how dominant Jmook and Cody were throughout this tournament, and have been in other tournaments. Wow. Now I was talking to to Cody a little bit, and he was talking about how you know they have their sights set on Plup Hbox as their you know main yeah, true, team's true. rival, right? Because Plup Hbox is arguably number one right now in terms of just when everyone, all the great teams are at a tournament, they tend to win it. Sure. Um, so they kind of have their sights set there, but, you know, Amsa and Axe throwing a wrench in the works right this now. This is the, the needle bonanza that was happening right there. Yeah, <laughs> hitting, the, hitting the teammate yeah. with the needles, actually causing the KO, unfortunately. Even there, just yeah. such, I really like seeing, it, it's simple team stuff, right? But I like seeing it nailed. Not and dropping, it, and it feels like, like especially like when you are playing the 2v1, it should be so easy against Yoshi at that point, because you're like, oh, out of jump sort of thing. But that's kind of the beauty of doubles, right? Mm -hmm. Because interactions with players, target switching, the whole nine, everything can really come into uh, your decision making. And you have to make decisions so, so fast in a format that's this quick. Definitely. I mean, I've seen top teams drop stuff like that yeah, all the yeah. time when it's crunch time. So, you know, got to give props where it's due. Oh, my god. I still can't get over, like, the, the punishes the off the yeah, down smashes. Knowing. Yeah, it's really, it's really, really solid. That's also a great KO confirm there from from Cody. Yeah, I mean, I think that's going to be the plight for people fighting Axe Amsa is how can they get those KO confirms at the high percent? Right. And I think a lot of it's going to be centered around who can get the grab. Because like if she if she, if she gets the grab right, then Fox can do like of an course, up smash and things course. of that nature. But 
getting it at those crucial percents is easier said than done. Absolutely, yeah. But there's a couple more teams that have to fight to get into Grand Finals to face mm -hmm. off against Axe Amsa. The first is going to be our loser side set between Korean Fried Chicken and Chango versus Chango Mega Man, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But want to give a quick thank you to Asus, one of our sponsors, mo the official monitor and headset partner for Battle of BC. It's what we're wearing right now, is it? Maybe? I don't know. Could be. Could Don't be. look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Yes, thank you to Asus Gaming Monitors. Give you the perfect blend of features for games that you love to play. Cutting edge technology to the market for hardcore gamers, as well as options for mainstream gamers too. I'm not reading off